will line up this side and that side. 50-50, uh, so we have as many people on. I need another four people that side, please. Oh, there we are. Are you joining us? Playing rugby or <laughs> Rugby? Okay, next time. <laughs> right, guys, um, welcome to our outdoor session for today. We're going to be going through laws 26, 27, and 28. Law 26 is practice on the field. So, first question is during a match, are players allowed to practice on the field? Yes, but not on the pitch. Very good answer. So, that's the first thing we're going to cover is where are we allowed to practice? Uh, we said we're not allowed to practice on the pitch. Uh, what about the next strip? Because normally you've got three strips next to each other. Are we allowed to practice on the strip right next to the playing pitch? No, we're not. Are we allowed to practice on this strip right next to the playing pitch? No, we're not. So these three strips next to each other, we're not allowed to practice on at any point in time. And in fact, the law actually says that normally um, the whole square and that over there behind us is the square and we can include this part as part of the square as well because it is a playing pitch. Uh, we're not supposed to practice on the square. Uh, but if you ever go to Newlands to watch a cricket match, you will see in between innings that uh, bowlers are bowling on strips on the edge of the square that have been prepared by the grounds person specifically for practicing okay so if there are practice pitches prepared then those practice pitches can be used for practice now uh, when do you think we are allowed to practice um, on the field uh, before i come to that question uh, obviously the rest of the outfield that's normally where the warm-ups happen right so the rest of the outfield practice can happen um, so we've covered now where practice cannot happen and we know that practice can happen on the outfield uh, so then next we need to know when does practice happen uh, can practice happen before the start of a match? Yes, warm-ups. Can practice happen during the lunch break? No. If you've ever been to uh, Newlands, uh, they always, remember one team bats first, and then in the afternoon, after lunch, the other team is going to bat. So the team who batted in the morning are going to be fielding in the afternoon, right? So during the lunch break, what do they do? Just before they go on, they practice on the outfield, eh? warm up. Um, and similarly, uh, tea break, can they practice during the tea break? Yes, they can. Can they practice during the change of innings? If it's a test match and there's four innings, uh, after the one team is all out, before the next team starts bowling they're going to practice okay so basically every scheduled uh, interval uh, if we're playing a test match after the first day's play uh, are the players allowed to practice in the evening as well before going home yes they are okay that is also a scheduled evening mm, the time between play. the close of play on day one and the start of play on day two is a scheduled interval. So during all scheduled intervals, we are allowed to practice on the outfield as long as, and on the practice pitches, as long as it's not the two strips next to the playing pitch, and of course not the playing strip. Okay. Um, now, what about during a match? Is a bowler allowed to uh, warm up during a match? Is a bowler allowed? Can I have a young fast bowler here, please? Oh. Okay. Right. Uh, 
Now, where's the ball? I see it, yeah. What normally happens when a bowler starts, is, is coming to bowl? He'll give me his cap and he'll get the ball. And then what is he going to do? He's going to practice his run up, isn't it? Practice your run up for us. <laughs> so are we going to allow this as an umpire? Yes, guys, we need to give them a chance to mark their run up. And if they want a run through to check that their run up is uh, correct, yeah, his run up is fine. We allow that. Okay. Uh, we just need to make sure that there is no time wasting. And we also need to make sure that he doesn't bowl the ball on the pitch. Okay. When he's in his practice run up. And also, um, normally, if he wants to actually practice the bowling motion, have we seen that on TV? Mm -hmm. What do they do? Where do they normally bowl to? Mid off or mid on. Okay. Do you ever see a bowler bowling to point? No. Or bowling to mid wicket? No. They are not allowed to bowl and have the ball bounce in line or parallel with the pitch okay so you cannot bowl in line or parallel to the playing strip okay so yes you can warm up trial run and bowl to mid off and mid on uh, as long as you don't waste time and as long as you don't change the condition of the ball uh, if this is a nice lush outfield there's a lot of grass so I don't mind as an umpire if when he practices his bowling, the ball bounces on this grass. But then sometimes, especially when we had the drought, uh, the fields are bare and it's hard and it's sandy. Uh, if the ball bounces on that sand, it's going to change the condition of the ball. Yes, it will. So then I would say to him, if you're going to practice your bowling, bowl a full toss to the mid off and a full toss to the mid on. Don't let the ball bounce uh, when you're practicing your bowling. So there's two things we need to look out for when a bowler is practicing. What's the first thing? He mustn't waste time. And the second thing is, he must not change the condition of the ball. Okay, are we happy with that, guys? Uh, now, if there is any contravention of any of these laws that we have just gone through now so if the bowler bowls along the pitch or uh, parallel to the pitch or if he bounces the ball uh, too many times and it's a rocky field uh, what do you think we're going to do are there any penalties for illegal practice on the field what do you think the penalties are? How do we normally penalize a team? Five penalty runs. Okay, but we don't nail them immediately when they do something wrong for the first time. We give the team a first and final warning. Okay, that, hey, Cola, this is a bad field. You cannot bowl when you're practicing into the ground. You need to bowl a full toss in mid off and mid on. So you tell the captain, captain, this is a first and final warning for your entire team for illegal practice on the field. Okay. And if it happens again that there is illegal practice on the field, what do we do as umpires? Award five penalty runs to the batting side. How do you signal five penalty runs to the batting side, you tap your opposite shoulder, okay? And a way to remember that it is five penalty runs to the batting side is that the tapping sound sounds like a ball hit, bat hitting a ball, okay? So it's five penalty runs to the batting side, okay? Any questions on practicing on the field?
Good. Oh, you know you have a plan. Yes. And then before that, Correct, correct. So, um, match is supposed to start at 10 a.m. Uh, we as umpires lead the players onto the field at what time? Five minutes before 10, we walk onto the field so that the fielding captain has got time to set their field. The batting team then comes on the two opening batters and then they take their guard and um, they ask um, which side the bowler is bowling from. Is he right arm over the wicket or is he or she left arm around the wicket? Uh, and then the, the, the umpires need to count all the fielders. Then we need to check with the scorers that they're ready. Check with your partner that the partner's ready. Check with the fielding captain that the fielding captain's ready. Check with the batters that they're ready. And then you call play. And in that time, the bowler, opening bowler, can be warming up, bowling practice deliveries to mid on and mid off, checking his or her run up that it's fine. Uh, while the game is going, you do still allow a bowler to practice their run up and bowl practice deliveries to mid on and mid off. But the captain knows that they have, for example, 85 minutes to bowl 20 overs. So it's up to you as uh, umpires to inform the players and the captain specifically after every four overs that, uh, captain, you're behind with the over eight. So please hurry up. So then maybe the captain will actually tell the bowler, bowler, you don't have time to do a practice uh, run up or to bowl too many deliveries to mid on and mid off. Uh, it's really all about game management and you as the umpire are the only people normally on the field with a watch on. So you need to communicate whether the team is behind or ahead of their over it. Happy? Thank you. Any more questions on Law 26? Um, practice on the field. So remember that um, it's the fielding side that is practicing. The batters usually, yeah, they will do this once or twice. They're not going to waste. If, if they are wasting time, then you can penalize them for time wasting. Uh, not really for practicing on the field because they're not really practicing. It's the fielding side that is practicing on the field. And warning so that if the first bowler did something wrong and bowled a practice delivery on the pitch uh, that's a first and final warning for the whole team so if the second bowler does the same thing then five penalty runs to the batting side okay team warning all happy with practice on the field Thank you very much, Kakisa uh, Rabara. Uh, you can go back to Fine Lake now. <laughs> Over to Vilma for Law 27, which is the wicketkeeper. <laughs>